Today we're listening to uh, pleas from other people to not help uh, ourselves and the innocent victims in Northern Ireland, to not help them. Basically what's going on, people who are coming from a Republican agenda see us now in a position where we're starting to gain ground. We have a possibility now of holding a rogue state to account. Something that we've been on about for quite a number of years where we're going to hold them to account for arming, training and financing a terrorist organisation which in turn trained other terrorist organisations around the world the like Hatta, the PLO, uh, Hamas, the uh, FARC you name them, they've been involved with quite a few other terrorist organisations uh, and drugs has become a main problem as well but anyway, getting back to where we're coming from we have been working on this for a number of years and we said that we would continue to fight for justice for the innocent victims both Catholic and Protestant, makes no difference but who have suffered at the hands of the IRA now people are on crying, why aren't you doing this, why aren't you doing that the reason we aren't is because we are sticking to one issue at a time we can't cover everybody's issue and there's enough Republican organisations out there and so called human rights organisations that have done everything in their power to try and uh, dirty Joe the British government basically to try and show them in bad light now I know the British government uh, have things to answer for but they've every bit as much to answer for on our side of the community as they have on the Republican side of the community but here we have a situation where this state has admitted to what they did. There's no question about it. They have admitted that they armed and trained a terrorist organisation and financed them as well. Now, the Relatives for Justice has actually contacted the Libyan Embassy and told them not to do anything for us. Why? These people say they're fighting for justice for their people. But here we have a situation where a rogue state has openly admitted their involvement in doing what they've done which also entailed killing Americans and injuring American citizens this is the IRA I'm talking about Libya helped them and in turn they killed American citizens and injured American citizens something most people don't know but the Relatives for Justice f felt that uh, they should contact the Libyan Embassy and tell them not to support us that uh, the British government has to be held to account which is a separate issue but if you want to go down that road yes the British government has things to answer for but let's make this also clear so has the Irish government a lot to answer for a hell of a lot to answer for whenever you consider that they actually talked about invading Northern Ireland which increased the violence in the early part of the troubles here more people were murdered, more people were hurt because of statements by the Irish government they give cover to the IRA for 35 years where they refuse to extradite them and we have the lists, hundreds of extradition warrants that were refused because the offence was political you know, if you want to start to get into that of who is right and who is wrong and who did what as far as our own government goes, the British government and let's look at the Irish government as well but putting that to the side, that's two separate issues that has to be proven it is far from proven there is a lot of Republican propaganda out there and that's what the, a myth that they've read on for the last 100 years, never mind this last 35 years this is proven so why is the Relatives for Justice who says they're working for victims uh, denying innocent victims the right to justice why? You answer that question to us. Why are they trying to deny? I'll tell you why. Because they have a hatred for people like ourselves, which goes far beyond the issue of justice. They obviously have an agenda, which is a Republican agenda, and that is all about trying to uh, basically show the British government be some type of state that um, was involved in a lot of things in Northern Ireland that it shouldn't have been. Maybe the war, I don't know. Yeah, but I do know that if the war, they've done it on both sides of the community. But that still has to be proven. With Libya, it doesn't.
it is already proven Libya has admitted to arming, training and financing the IRA. The technology that the IRA got from Libya and the weapons allowed them to carry out a campaign, not only here but across Europe, that they couldn't have done. Now, we're entitled to justice for that. And compensation is an issue because, unfortunately, governments, unless they have to pay financially, they don't feel they're held accountable. Measly words is not enough from governments. There has to be a financial package. And also, I'd ask you this. There's maybe three to four hundred million been spent on inquiries. On the Bloody Sunday inquiry, the Pat Finucca inquiry, the Rosemary Nelson inquiry, the Robert Hamill inquiry. Where was the inquiries for us? The ordinary innocent victims, where was our inquiries? We didn't get any. So, whenever these people are shouting about justice, just remember that works both ways. That the innocent victims are entitled to justice every bit as much as anybody else. And just because you've got a Republican agenda and we don't, doesn't mean that we haven't the right to look for justice. Because I can assure you this, the days of Republicans crying victimhood are over. Because we will challenge them whenever it comes to the issue of victims. And that's what's happening here in Northern Ireland. And that's what's annoying them. The fact that we've actually got somewhere here and uh, they're still trying to prove a point that is debatable, if it's right or wrong. Very debatable. Uh, there might be some merit in what they say, but at the same time there's a lot of merit in the fact that it's wrong as well. And like I say, if you're going to get into the British and Irish governments, well, let's get into that. But that's a separate issue. But it shows you the hypocrisy of Republicans. Uh, and you can only see this whenever you read their material. They don't like it to be shown publicly. But we came across this. And, uh, but let me assure them that this, they'll be saying a lot more before we're finished.